Some people have lost their conscience. Some people don't have the fear of God and man anymore. But even if you don't fear man, don't you fear God? Don't you? And most people will not be like, it is village people. Which village people? The village people send you to go and be stealing from vulnerable people. Like the things I've been hearing in this past few months, I've been like, what's going on? Like, I don't understand. But there you guys, it's just so many crazy things are going on right now in the uk everyone just doing whatever they want to do nobody cares about the implications of their actions nobody wants to think about who will be affected by this all they want is their own personal gains and that's why this lady went to steal from vulnerable people like who does that it is obviously very wrong to steal and then when you finally decided to steal you went to a vulnerable person to steal from don't you have conscience at all? I mean, don't you guys? Well, my name is Chine Merem and you are welcome to my channel. Please do well to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hey guys, there is this lady. She's a Nigerian lady, by the way. She went as far as stealing over £20,000 from vulnerable persons. Uh, she's a care assistant and she works in a home in London. And this has been going on for a while. You've been doing this for a while. Haven't you saved enough money to do whatever you want to do? That's one thing about stealing. You don't, you don't seem to get enough. The more you go, the more you want to go. You know, as a care assistant, you would have access to so many things. Like their personal details, their personal items. Of course, because you're the person that is helping them. Especially if they don't have the capacity. Well, some people are taking advantage of this and they are not ripping off these people. Like, it is not fair. So this lady, what she actually did was she withdrew money from the accounts of the residents. I don't know how she got access to the account, but like I said before, if you're a care assistant, you have access. Sometimes you may even know their ATM pin. You may know so many things about them. So she has access to their perhaps their ATM pin and she took money from three residents accounts and she said she took the money over the period of eight months. However, she said that what she took was £19,650, not £20,000. Um, she's still even saying that she took 19,000. What is the difference between 19,650 and 20,000 pounds? Um, Almighty 20,000 pounds almost because it's about 350 pounds. That is the difference. What is left for you? You could have taken everything now in the accounts. Like, why would you take this thing? These people are old people, old vulnerable people. You're taking 19,000 pounds from three people's accounts. People will be like, oh, because they are, they are old, they don't need this money, they are this and that, so I should better take the money. Well, even though they are old, they must have worked for the money. So you don't have to go and take their money because they are old. Even if they are old and they can't use the money anymore, they have family members or the government may be in charge of the money. So you thinking because they are old, they won't be able to use the money, so I should better use it. Doesn't make sense because you'll be prosecuted for that. If they are old and they have money and they're not using it, don't touch it. So long as it is not your money, it is not your money, then don't touch it. At first, this lady was denying this accusation. She said she didn't do anything, she didn't take any money, blah, 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 and all. Now, she has accepted that she did some of them and that she now had to drag everyone into the mess. So she said that people in the home, that's other care assistants in the home, are also doing the same thing. Like, she had to open up everything about the thing and um, I don't know if they will go and investigate others too but she has said it already that so many of them they are involved in the same crime so it's not just her maybe she learned from them or she taught them i don't know i don't know if this is a conscious effort to exonerate herself by dragging everyone into it and what if those people are actually innocent maybe she knows what she's saying maybe many of them are actually involved or maybe not but the good thing is that she she was sentenced for only seven months like they were so lenient enough to sentence her for only seven months i know so many people will be like sentence her for more maybe years two years three years five years which afterwards her dbs of course will be affected but she may be deported back to nigeria and so many people will be like oh it is nigerian so it is left for nigerians to tackle this or deal with it well you should know that this is not a dent on only nigeria it is also a dent on all africans so yes if you think well i'm from this other country in africa so it's not my problem you have to think again because ah it is a dent on all of us so my own is everybody should start doing better honestly we can all do better why steal from these people why steal from vulnerable people i know you're trying to meet up i know sometimes that this money is not enough the money you earn may not be enough because of course it is not enough when the bills come but you shouldn't be going to steal from vulnerable people it is very wrong on every side i know that so many people got this job with high expectations this care assistant job they got it with high expectations they are like wow it is a good opportunity 
right now some people are suffering for this particular decision so many people were not told the nitty-gritty of what this job entails so many people are not aware of how the uk works and the system when they saw the salary they were going to be getting they converted it to their local currencies and they were like oh we're going to be balling when we get here but on getting here they got disappointed because the money is not even enough for them to take care of their personal needs not to talk of sending back home or even paying off who they borrowed from and now people are getting involved in so many wrongdoings like so many wrong things thefts and all just to meet up at the moment i think it's time we started telling people the truth about this country i know people be like eh if if it is that bad why are you still there why are you not coming back home and all i'm not saying you should not come or you should not invite people to come what i'm saying is if you're inviting them over tell them the nitty gritty of this country tell them how this country works let them not come with those expectations and the more so they won't be spending the money in their local currencies in naira for instance you'll be spending this money in pounds so when you are converting it to naira or to your local currency don't convert it and think okay this this is too much money i'll be balling no don't convert tell people how this country works you have tax to pay you have bills to pay you pay for literally everything for parking you pay for water coming in you pay water going out you pay and things are on a constant increase right now the cost of living in the uk is constantly increasing so if you just tell people oh just come and get the job and all oh, you would do this you would do that at the end of the day they don't meet up they'll be disappointed they will engage in wrongdoings and it won't be nice it will be a dent on us all as africans as blacks as as whoever so my point is understand that this country is not as easy as you may think yes it will get easy with time but moving to the uk newly is definitely not going to be easy at first especially if you don't move with enough money except maybe you have enough money you've been saving for a long time and you've saved so much money yes it will be easy for you but if not you would have to face some challenges at least the first few years will be very very challenging for you you would obviously adjust with time but the first few years will be challenging for you also if you are going to be paying for the care assistant job please understand what you are paying for because i've heard about people being stranded right now in the uk because the employer they got the job from have employed so many people and now there is no job for them to do and now their hours are being cut so they don't work up to number of hours they should be working a, a week we should give them that a thousand plus a month so some of them earn about 700 pounds now some of them earn about 600 pounds um, a month because they don't have enough hours to work during the week now what do you do with 600 pounds say you are married or you are even single in a month what can you do with 600 pounds 700 pounds basically nothing because you have to pay for accommodation you have to feed yourself and if you have family back home you have to do so many other things as well so 600 pounds 700 pounds is more like nothing so you see it's not going to be easy uh if you are going to pay for this job you should also be careful because some of these employers are now exploiting people they are exploiting the people that are paying them for the job and they're not giving them the job they are asking them for and they recruit more people than they need and then they don't have enough hours to give to these people to work then those people are now stranded because they don't have enough money to foot the bills so my advice is if you are coming here on the care assistance route or any route at all please come prepared financially especially come prepared and recruiters please it's a cry out for everybody stop exploiting people stop exploiting these people don't employ more than you need if you need only five persons employ five persons don't go employ ten persons and give them a job for five persons it will not be nice they won't have enough money at the end of the month and you know that you cannot even work in any other sector that is not care sector and you do with extra 20 hours a week it won't be enough stop exploiting people please at least recruit as much as you need not more than you need right and if you are coming and also if you are coming please stay careful open your eyes shine your eyes and remain focused and i think that's that about this video i just hope we all start doing better now until i see you guys again in the next video do take care stay safe and bye